yo what's good on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to animate uh parts and stuff in roblox and stuff i've done a video before with um how to animate gui which is it's very similar but i w i would say it's a little it's, it's a few more steps i should say a little more like a little more work than gui gui honestly in my opinion is easier to animate than actual parts and stuff yeah, it's real simple and I'll just give you guys the basics. All right, so first things first, of course, we're gonna need a part. So let's insert a part, you feel me? Little block, we will anchor the part, right? And then we'll just, we can just leave this part, right? And then we will, we will say, we will, I mean, I say we'll insert a script. We can call this our tween script, right? Cause we're gonna be tweening it, right? You guys could alert it, but I'm explaining in the video how to tween, right? And plus I just like tweening better. So first things first, we're going to, of course, reference the part. We're going to say local part is equal to script.parent. Then we're going to say local TS, which is short for tween service. So we'll do equals game get service tween service, right? Then we're going to press enter, enter again, right? And then pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to need to create a function, something that happens when a condition is met, pretty much. So for this, um we can say let's see we could really say like when okay when a person touches it we'll say script dot parent dot touched colon connect function then in parentheses we will put hit then enter we will do if hit dot parent colon find first child hue oh sorry humanoid enter then and then we will then begin working on the twin. So we're gonna want to do local twin is equal to ts create because we're creating a new twin, right? Then we're gonna need the instance that we're tweening. So that would be the part, of course. Then we're gonna need to work on the twin info, right? So we can go ahead and do twin info dot new, and then we can go ahead and fill this stuff out. I'll say uh zero point five seconds. And um dot easing style, you choose your style, whatever you want to go with here. Um I just always go linear and then comma and then we're gonna do we're gonna get the easing direction or do or select an easing direction. And um dot easing direction, I'm gonna say out, and then you can choose there's other details you can do, repeat count, reverse, delay time, but I'm gonna just stop there, right? Oh, there's missing a T, right? There we go. So we finished all the tween info details right now it comes time for the property table right all well, the properties are going to be changing so let's go up here to the then and press enter twice and then now we're going to work on the changes right so we can do local changes is equal then you're going to make it kind of like a table close it off right so it's going to be a table pretty much and then you're going to say changes dot and then you're going to say like this won't autofill, but it's pretty much like you're changing the properties of the part. So let's say we want to change the part's position, right? So we do changes dot position is equal to vector three dot new, right? Um, so the, the part's current position is um right here. So let's move it up a little bit, right? And yeah, let's, actually no, let's move it forward. We'll move it forward a little bit, right? And then we'll record that. Boom. And then we will move it back, right? And we're going to put that here, pretty much. Because that is the position we're, we're going to move it to. Or tween it to, we could say, right? Th these are the changes we are going to make. And then simply here, we would just put changes, right? Because the whole point is it's supposed to be a property table because you can change multiple properties. You can also do like changes dot color. Um, actually, no, let me do brick color. Brick color is, e is equal to brick color. Oh, I forgot capital C. All right, then brick color dot new. And then we could say really red. So we'll change the color as well as the position, right? And then lastly, all you got to do is do tween play to play the tween. And boom, there we go. Alrighty, let's go ahead and quick play so we can go ahead and test this out and see if it works and just generally see what it looks like. All right. So we load in, we, 20 service property name, brick color on object, where it's not that, it's like tweens, it's not, oh wait, I forgot, 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 wait, wait, 
wait, wait, what? An object part is not a data type. I can use twins. Oh, I think we can. I don't think we can use brick color. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can use brick color. Okay, let's we'll change the color rather than the brick color, even though it kind of sounds like the same. Let's do color three dot no, and then uh, let's go to random color. Wait, no. Let's go like no. Let's just go, still go to red. I think changing the color three should work. If the color or changing the color doesn't work, then we would just go back to just changing the position. But yeah, let's see what this does. Okay, there we go. So as you guys can see, um, what's it called? Not only does it animate the part actually moving, it also animates the color changing and stuff. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. I'll go ahead and play again and stuff. Because honestly, it looks really. It looks like it looks so much better because you're not like just changing it. Like you're, it's slowly changing, right? Um. So if I step on it, boom. As you guys, as you guys can see, it transitioned from uh gray to red over uh 0.5 of a second. So yeah, you guys can change that time by the way to whatever you want. But yeah, that's how you tween parts and tween properties and stuff. Like if you like if you want to kind of animate colors, animate us, uh, um, a part moving, uh, rotating. Um, I think that's really all you would really want to animate with part. Yeah, I think that's really it. I guess you could change the material. I guess yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what you would do pretty much. Tweening, tweening is your friend. I definitely recommend tweening over lurping and stuff. That's just me, but yeah. But I hope this video was helpful and stuff. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for 413 subscribers right now. We're um, honestly, man, I just hit 400 like just a week ago, and we're already like 87 away from 500. So let's keep it going and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys.